Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com where we provide cloud computing services that allow your employees to work from anywhere and still be under one virtual roof. We do this by hosting over 300 software applications and their associated data. All of those applications and data can be accessed and used from any of the devices you see on this screen. If you'd like more information about us, you can go to our website. You could also do a search for virtualroof.com on YouTube. You can send us an email at info at virtualroof.com or you can call us at 866-932-2281. Okay, this video is part four of a five-part series showing how a credit union can use Sage Act in their business. This particular video deals with Security Ant Act and how you're able to isolate contact records based on divisions within your company. All of our videos can be seen on YouTube by going to YouTube and doing a search for virtualroof.com. And lastly, keep in mind that all the software that you're seeing today and all the data that you're seeing is actually physically sitting on our hosted servers in our data center facility in Washington. And I'm physically sitting in Florida, which just goes to demonstrate that through our services, you can live and work from anywhere. Okay, so how do I prevent the users from one division of the company seeing the records from a different division? What we're going to do is we're going to do a search. We're going to do a lookup for our division. We'll let auto be our division since it defaulted to that anyways. I've got 54 records in here for our division. Okay, now I've already set up a team of users. And by the way, you can set up your teams by just going to Tools and Manage Team. And you can create teams, as many teams as you want. And you can add the users of the database, any, any combination of users in your database to those teams. So all I'm going to do now, I've got this list. I'm going to highlight, the first one's already highlighted. I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom. I sorted it by this first column, which indicates whether or not these folks are users of the database. And I've got three of them down there that are users of the database. And they came up because we did a search on the division field, which is auto. That just means those folks are employees of our company and users of this database in the auto division. So that's why they came up. So I don't need to highlight those three because I don't need to limit access on those. So all I'm going to do now is I got them all highlighted. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click edit contact access, add users slash teams. And all I've got to do now is click on my teams tab, click on auto, click on OK. And now all of these folks will be able to access these contact records in the auto side, but the other users of the database won't be able to access them. The only exception to that is if the user is a database administrator or a manager. Both of those types of users are security levels within the ACT database and both are able to access all of the records in the database. However, all of your standard level users who are not part of the auto division won't even know those records exist in the database. They won't even be part of the record count. In other words, if your database has 5,000 records in it, and you've isolated a thousand of those to the auto division, then all of the other users who are not part of the auto division, when they open up the database, the count on the records will be 4,000 for them because they're not able to see the thousand records that are in the auto division. Okay, well that wraps things up on the security video. The next video is really cool. It's going to focus on the iPad and specifically how you can access all of this data and all of these applications and run them just as if you're sitting at your desk when you happen to be mobile and accessing our hosted service from an iPad or an Android tablet. Thanks again for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com. Keep in mind everything that you saw in this video can be done from any of the devices on this screen. If you'd like more information about us, you can go to our website. You could also do a search for virtualroof.com on YouTube. You can send us an email at info at virtualroof.com or you can call us at 866-932-2281.